All right, what's going on here? Is the Marvel team working on the G.I. Joes now? Because he looks like he's got some kind of mask and a microphone going on there. Are we going backwards with these vests like they put on Firefly? They just came out with a second version of Firefly. That's better. What's up with the Nerf guns? Why are we going back to Nerf guns again? Well, wait. I kind of like the Dodge Viper. But you could give us a vamp, please. In this video, I'm going to fix this figure, just like I did with Firefly. When the classified figures came out, I was hoping for the O-ring figures that they promised us, and instead, we got these figures. They were redesigned, not what we were looking for, and they had Nerf guns. Now, they did release some O-Ring figures, of course they had Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow, but they also released some with the HasLab Sky Striker. Now, I really wanted some of these figures, but I did not want another Sky Striker. I already have a couple of them. Then, they started releasing O-Ring figures with a crossover with Transformers, and I was not interested in that at all. At the same time, Valiverse was coming out with her 6-inch Action Force line, these highly articulated, high-quality military figures with their real-world weapons, and Hasbro was paying attention. Now, although Hasbro wasn't making the O-Ring figures anymore, they were making the G.I. Joe vintage-style figures in the 6-inch scale, and I was in from then on. Now, I have been picking up these Tiger Force figures. I got almost all of them. And, of course, Flint came out. I didn't even know he was out at the store. I picked him up, and I got him home, and I was like, what the hell is going on? He's got that weird paint on his face, like he's got a Robin Hood mask on. He's got a weird Nerf handgun. He's got those weird shin pads. He also has that vest on. It's like the first version of Firefly that they made where I had to redo that whole vest to make it look like the original Firefly. And here he is here. I had to uh, take his vest off and cut it up and I made some straps with some uh, grenades and some pouches here. He also had no paint apps underneath his vest. So of course I had to paint the camouflage that you see on the rest of his uniform. I also picked up Torpedo finally and I didn't do a review on this but there's just something off about this figure. I don't know what it is. It would have been nice if they had made the flippers the right color. I don't know. There's just something about it. The tanks in the back and uh, his face sculpt just doesn't look right. It just seems like their face sculpts are getting worse. And then we have Tiger Force Flint. He's He looks like he's from My Chemical Romance or something. He's got like a microphone on his face. It's the first thing I noticed when I saw this guy on the box is I was like, what the hell is that on his face? Then I realized they were trying to give him like the Tiger Force marks on his face, but he didn't have that on the original figure. This is what Flint is supposed to look like. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did to Firefly and make him look more like the vintage Firefly. I'm going to keep his backpack style thing here, but I'm also going to remove all of this and try to figure out a way to make it a little bit more minimalized like this. <laughs> So I took the vest off, as you can see, and of course he doesn't have the lines here, which sucks because that's what he has here. They did the same thing to the version 1 of Firefly, and uh, I just painted the camouflage back in there and on his shoulders. <laughs> Thank you. 
So that's awesome. That's going to look really good. Now, my idea is to glue these straps to his belt like that. And this should be long enough to glue to that belt. And that way he's got his strap like the original figure. Now, it looks really good. I don't know why they added all that extra shit. But uh, I'm going to leave this on here so that he's got a place to store one of his guns. So before we glue that on, we got some painting to do and we got to take this off. I'm going to experiment with this and see if I can find a way to get that paint off his face. So with a little bit of lighter fluid and a Q-tip, it's starting to come off. It's going to take me a long time. I'm just taking a Q-tip and rubbing it. You can see the black here. I don't want to take his hair off and I don't want to take the paint from his eyes off, which is going to be really tricky. I might actually have to go in there with like some kind of exacto knife or something and scrape the black around his eyes. So let me do that off camera and I'll bring it back and show you as I go along how it's working. So it's working. I'm using some lighter fluid and a Q-tip and I'm also using a toothpick and I'm just scraping that paint off. It's harder to get off in some spots than others. I'm just going to have to use this for now on because I don't want to take the paint apps from the eyes. Those eyes are done really, really good and uh, I don't want to have to repaint that on because it won't look that great. So I just got to take my time and, and uh, get that black around his eyes off. I've got a new technique that I'm using and it's working really well. I'm taking this Q-tip and putting um, lighter fluid on it. Then I'm soaking the tip of my toothpick here and getting in there and it's actually working the scraping and using the lighter fluid at the same time and it's actually working pretty good. So I'm going to keep doing that. So here we go. I think that's pretty good. It came out way better than I expected it would but uh, you know, I was hoping it was going to turn out really well. And uh, it's a better likeness to the Flint that we know, even though his face is a little bit different. He does have a smile on the original figure. And so I guess that's why they put the smile on this guy. It's just his face sculpt is not quite the same. Let's see what he looks like with his beret on. And that looks even better with the beret on even though the color is not quite the same. So let's get some uh, tiger stripes on his shirt.
So I'm noticing that the lines that are already on him are actually a dark gray instead of a black, which is another thing that, you know, they just don't have the coloring for this guy right. I'm not sure what they are thinking, but I'm going to let that dry, and then I'm going to contemplate, do I uh, redo those in a dark gray? Now, before I show you what I've done to the figure, as I was filming this, uh, Amazon just showed up and and I received the grunt figure. So the nice thing about this figure is not only was he a character uh, from 82 and 83, but he was also, for me, an army builder. And I think that's what they're going for here. So I'm okay with what they're doing here. And if it was me and I wanted to have the original looking grunt figure, I would take his vest off and just have the regular face and his army helmet and the gun that you see from the cartoon. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this. Now, this is also an army builder. This is a Steel Brigade army builder. And uh, this isn't the original colors they made with Steel Brigade. I'm, I think they may have already made the Steel Brigade in the traditional colors. But this looks amazing. He's been updated. And I'm good with these updates because now we get a Steel Brigade figure. He's in the green and I have my options of what I want to do with him. I can actually take this vest off too, where with the flint, I couldn't get his vest off unless I took his arms, his head off. Uh, so I just ended up cutting it off. He's got really nice boots. He's got the weapon that I really like. I'm going to use this weapon. He did come with a couple weapons. Here's one of them. Uh, yeah, it's a really nice weapon. M16, I think, or M14. But look at it. It's crazy. So he's got his uh, handgun there. I like the way they have the holster on an angle. You've got some pegs on his backpack. Yes, he has a backpack where you can store the extra weapons if you want. He's got really cool pouches. I do like his vest with the electronics on the front that flips out like that. And uh, you've got some apps, some paint apps on that. And the helmet just makes it amazing. So let's take a look at what I've done to Flint. So I repainted those stripes in the dark gray to match the dark gray stripes that Hasbro has done. And he's got not a huge vest. He's just got the straps with the shotgun shells, which are really nice. They are painted with a gray and then the gold on the ends which looks really good and he also has the gold here on his shotgun this doesn't look anything like the vintage figures shotgun but it is a really cool shotgun I like how it opens up like that that's really really neat now that crappy gun that we've got I just put that in the holster we're gonna leave that there I was going to cut this off but I didn't because well I want this to be on so that he's got a place to put his weapon. I may later on cut this off and cut this off and fasten this to uh, the strap on the back. I think that would make it look really good. And of course, we've got that face. We've taken those terrible lines off his face and he looks fantastic. Now he does have some gold on his... Um, right here and you can see that's on the original figure but it gets lost because of the strap that goes across his chest like that but that's okay I think he just looks a lot better and uh, I think he will look great in the collection and I think they could do better doing the more research on the figure before they make the figure so leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of the changes I made. Were you happy with the way the figure looked like before? Did you like the way that they updated the figure to make it look the way it did? Or do you think that this version is much better? I wonder if they're going to do a version 2 of this figure just like they did the version 1 of the Firefly which was actually right beside this figure on the shelf when I bought Flint. At least there's no Dodge Viper. There's actually some military uh, vehicles 
in the picture here. <laughs> and uh, I think that's much better than what Flint had on the front of his box. So thanks for watching this episode. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye.